Hello, everybody, and welcome to Beat of the Week. Now, I still don't have a mic stand, but I am crazy excited for this Beat of the Week because we are going deep into my childhood, back to one of the first drummers and bands that just really made me fall in love with music and drumming. The first band that opened my eyes to the possibilities of all there is in music. This is just one of my favorite bands all time with one of my favorite drummers of all time who made one of my favorite beats of all time. This episode is going to be all about the godfather of Prague, Danny Carey. Now, if you're a fan of music and you've never heard of Tool or Danny Carey, Seriously, guys, like, just seriously, go listen to Tool. Like, it's a little hard because none of their music is online. You, you'll have to go to a store to buy it. But just, if you want your mind just completely blown, please go listen to Tool. So anyway, the song that I chose to do is one of my favorites of all time to play. I've been playing it for a really long time, and it is Schism. So Schism is an incredible song for a lot of reasons. If you've never listened to progressive music, it's really hard. So I'm just, I'm just gonna read from Wikipedia really quick. Now, depending on how you count the time changes, because there are multiple ways to count time changes, technically the song switches meters about 47 times. So again, reading from Wikipedia. Song begins 2.54 followed by 1.44 followed by alternating 5 and 7, 5, 8, 7, 8 to the first interlude, which then changed from 6, 8 to 7, 8 to the first, which is 5, 8, 7, 8. Then there's a couple bars of 6, 4 followed by 1 bar of 11, 8 and back to 5, 8, 7, 8. Back to interlude, 6, 8, 7, 8. Then there's a weird series of 8, 4, 10, 4, 8, 4, 8, 4, then another 9, 8, which is 6, 8, 7, 8, 6, 8, 9, 8 twice. And then there's a 13, 8, 9, 8, 5, 8, 9, 8, 3 times, 5, 8, 6, 8, once. Then there's like 5, 8, 7, 8, and the final rotation, 8, 8. Now, if you just ask the band, they'll just tell you that the signature is in 6 and a half over 8. And another reason why I'm so excited for this episode is because, guys, we have leveled up. We now have sheet music. I'm gonna put it right here. Now, it's a semi long song, so I'm only breaking down the main drum beat. It's probably the most famous part of the song. It's m one of the most famous drum beats of all time. Now, so whenever the bomb number is eight, the eighth note gets the count. So in five eight, you can put five eighth notes into one measure. In seven eight, you can fit seven eight notes into one measure. This looks way harder than it's actually played. So you start off with just two bass drum hits, two eight note bass drum hits. In between those bass drum hits, you have 16th notes, five eight triplet. Now the reason why it's a lot easier than how it looks is because when you play this, your right hand is basically just playing eighth notes. So the whole time your right hand is just going tss, 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 tss. Now how I do it to get that triplet in there is I just do a double with the left hand. So yeah, the left hand with the double makes it a lot easier. And then after those two bass drum hits, you have a snare drum hit on four and then into the seven eight measure. Now the seven eight is pretty easy. Basically you just had two more clicks at the end of the measure. And he adds those two more clicks by adding a two beat long open hi-hat. And then back into the five eight measure. And the last measure, instead of having that two beat long bass drum and open hi-hat, he does two bass drum hits with the open hi-hat on the second bass drum hit. So very straightforward. And then you know, he changes it up a little bit right before the interlude, instead of doing that triplet or four stroke roll on the hi-hat, he's doing it on a high pitched tom. And that is the very famous schism beat by Danny Carey. Now here's me playing the first verse all the way through the first interlude and then a little bit on the second verse too. 